Things are checking out. I'm looking, I see the, the thing there in the bottom. All right, looks like we're ready <coughs> and set to go. So we dropped off a trailer here at the Sell Goods in Phoenix, Arizona. And they have accepted it, pulled it over. And it's here's kind of where we are. I, <laughs> I'm back in the cab and set the, the GPS to go to the um, fuel station up there. Got a 22 mile drive to the northern part of the city to go fuel up and I'll tell you what I'm doing on the way like he said and I'm gonna put a new I always forget to do this before I get started at least I'm consistent right um we're, we're just running down the list here we're running out of languages I only got four more and then I'm gonna set it I'm gonna find one that I like and keep it that way Sanihu. um seems like I'm, yeah, I'm a bit forward but uh anyway think back a little bit uh, let's start it up. 95 degrees, 4.02 p.m. It is Tuesday, 4.02. It's close to what real time would be here where I'm at. Parking brake is on gauge. Put the windows down. So, yeah, here in Phoenix, Arizona, I am planning on moving operations to Phoenix. Oops. And, um... Right now, I've got my Arizona operations set up in Flagstaff. So I'm going to go buy the garage here in Phoenix, sell the one in Flagstaff, and have the, have the crew make the move to Phoenix. Now I'm going to offer, as any good employee would, employer, if they could continue to live. Sorry to me. In Flagstaff, if they so choose, but the garage is moving to Phoenix, so if they want to move, take their time, look for a place. You can stay at the new garage if they need somewhere to stay. Well, that was nice. Pull out of the lane to give me the room. Alright, so. Hot after hot at the moon on Tuesday. Baseball season just around the corner. Gonna start up a new season here, and because we're getting on the highway, I'm gonna put the windows up. I'm getting on the 10. We're not going to Flagstaff yet, though. We're just gonna go kick gas. We're going from the downtown Phoenix area toward roughly Glendale. Ooh, gonna come out. Look out. You. So we won't be long on the 10 here. There's a Van Buren. Passing exit 200. It's a big city. Oop. Driving a little fast. Set right there for 55. I think Thomas Road my, is my exit. <coughs> A lot of B-roll footage around this city. For openers for our baseball games. Again, we got the B-Wolves second year in a row. We made the playoffs last year. Won the first round, got knocked out in the second. Getting ready for season number two. It's supposed to be a Phoenix team or an Arizona team, so we got them placed here. So I figure, why not? Move my operations from Flagstaff down to... Out of Phoenix. And when I first came into Phoenix, when we were first looking for a home for a team to call home, I pulled into that place up there. It's my first stop here in town. We are kind of there. I gotta fill up because I'm out of gas. All right. And shutting her down. We're at the Gallon Market Express here in North Phoenix. Across this to try to see what we're across the street from. 
Well, you can see off there in the distance. A lot of people walking around the parking lots. Some of them stuck on objects. <laughs> this is going to cost me some money. That was way empty. 192.9. It's like, like 200 gallon tanks. I just filled up 192 gallons of diesel. It's costing me $465 at $241 per gallon. Okay, there we go. Alright, that's good. Get back in. Sorry, start her up. The temperature's come down to 94. Getting nice out. Alright. Take her out of park through her gear. Roll on. Alright, speaking of money. I'm gonna check out real quick. My finances. Where I got my finances? Let's go to the bank. I currently have 179,000. Ah, oh, I think I need 180 to buy a garage, don't I? I need a doll. Wait, a thousand dollars. Well, I guess you know I'm gonna I'm gonna go there. Maybe one of my drivers pulls something in on the way over, right? I'll keep my little thing out just in case somebody makes any money, because if they do, I won't have to take out a loan. So I'm sorry. I usually don't keep that that thing up there. I can't see. I'm just going to have to go and hope no one's coming. And nobody was there. Good for me. All right, now, well, that helps too because I'm just looking at my GPS. You know what? I'm going to go, I'm going to go past 32nd here. Okay, I start with this market because I have not been on this stretch of road. And I'm discovering a little bit more about my city. Taking a, a right at 33rd. To be here a little bit. Oops, whoa. So now I've effectively been here on this stretch of road. I think this is Indian School. Catalina Drive. Oh, I'm going. How fast am I going? Set up for 25. Here's a 4-2 print. We did a live from the hive. Put that 4-2 print. And I'm not getting anything over the ticker yet. 33rd and, and Indian School Road. Let's see. I don't know if anyone's familiar with Phoenix. If these are actual places. Oh, this is nice because it's right across the street from the Kenworth dealer. Back in Flagstaff, I was down the street from the Kenworth dealer, and they switched to a Peterbilt. So this is nice to know there's a Kenworth right here. And I haven't been on this stretch of road yet either. In truck, I've been I've been all around the city, panning about and stuff. But uh, I don't have a stop sign, do I? No wait for me. Sorry. Thirty fourth. So we're at, we're on. Old or Indian School Road on 34th between what's it called? Hundred and eighty. Look at that. I literally need a thousand bucks. Eight hundred dollars I need. And I guess well let me just park it here. Here's the truck headquarters. This is this is the garage I'm gonna buy here in Phoenix, Arizona. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be based here. I'm gonna sell the one up in Flagstaff, but I kinda have to I kinda have to buy this first before selling the other one because I need the place for my drivers to move. So I guess I'm gonna have to go to the bank and take out the loan. Nobody's bringing in money. Let me check and see where they're at on the map. Maybe they're almost there. Driver manager. Map view. Where is everyone? Oh, she's almost. Sabrina's almost to Eureka. 
Oh, he's got a long ways to go. Johan. And he's gonna be he's gonna be a Salt Lake soon. She's halfway down her route. Brandon's a long way out there. Oh, he's just left. So really it would have been Sabrina is almost wow, she took a long drive from Flagstaff on out there. Ah crap. I gotta take out I gotta take out the loan. Too we're too close to okay. Bank. I don't need much though. So I'll just take out a ten thousand. Alright, now I got one eighty nine too. So here I can buy I can buy this. The garage available for sale. What do you mean I can't afford to buy it right now? For 180. It's 180. Maybe I need to back up. And drive back over the thing, you know? There we go. That might be just a thing where you have to get back on the, the thing. There you go. Press the key to buy. Do you really want to buy this garage? Yes, I want to buy the garage here in Phoenix, Arizona. There it is. There's the new Northwest Phoenix garage up in the, like the Glendale area. This is what could be my Arizona operations instead of Flagstaff. Okay, so now we own this garage. This is this is uh, Phoenix outfit here. Home, home away from home. All right, very cool, very good. Let's go to the job market. See if we could take a a, a quick job up to. Um, up to Flagstaff. Flagish, staffish. I'm looking for Flagstaff. Page, Sierra Vista. Flagstaff, Phoenix, you know, frozen fruits, Phoenix Freight, uh, to the sell goods. I'm going to another sell goods, the sell goods there. Okay. So GPS distance. Okay. I'm gonna close this thing out. Um, I have time. I've got time. This is the new, the new office. So I just purchased it. Signed the paperwork. They're like, "Thank you. This place was up for sale." And I got the the deed and all that stuff. And the garage comes with the tools and all that stuff, and we'll be moving the rest of our gear down here. Big screen TVs and all the kitchen goods, and this is going to be the new Arizona office here in Phoenix. And so now I got to drive on out to take a load of the Flagstaff because I never go anywhere without making money. And uh, and I'll sell that garage. I'm gonna move these guys down here. We got them, ma'am. Alright, so now we're officially located in Phoenix, Arizona. Here in lovely Phoenix. Good place to be. Um, there's a Kenworth right down the street here if I need repairs for any reason. Of course, I can repair things at my own garage, but. There's a 4 2 print, a 33rd, and an Indian school. A lot of great companies here in Phoenix. And, um, supermarket down the street. Oops. Walbert there, the donut shop. Be getting donuts there more often now, being around the corner from them. Walbert, it's the Walbert distribution shop, so it's not a Supermart. That's good. It's good for business. Like the, 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 the direct hire. I just did a 
a uh, life in the hive on that direct hire. Got an Arthur's Mark down here at the corner of Thomas and 32nd. Um, A hoods. Got a sign there for Global Mills. Got a gas station right around the corner. Alright, so I won't, I won't have to make the trips up to Flagstaff anymore. I'll just be based here. There's a city in the background. Oh, oh my gosh. back up. Driving on the highway, it's a little bit loud. Get off on the next one here. It's 200 west on the 10. I'm over one lane too many. We're going east to get to Phoenix Freights. I think that's at the airport. Yeah, so we got to drive over to um, Sky Harbor to pick up these goods in just over an hour to do it. I think I'm I think I'm making good time. Right there. Anybody on the right? Oops. So bought one garage, gonna go sell another. Let's see here. Where am I? Not the next one. I think I yeah, I gotta take the arc. Anytime you come through Phoenix here on the north end heading east, you gotta remember after you come through that tunnel, we'll be prepared to um, hit the brakes here coming over this ridge because this is what you can see the map now on my GPS. This is quite a turn and if you're and if you have your settings like I do that allow for your trailer to tip, you can't be going through there at full speed, you'll jackknife close traffic down for three hours. <laughs> here we're going down to Sky Harbor. Buckeye Road, I believe this is our exit here, yeah. Alright, to Sky Harbor. Oh my gosh! Whew. That's uh, that's paying attention right there, huh? <laughs> Just missed this guy's trail. I hope nobody pulls in behind him. It's embarrassing. He's like, yeah, dude, what are you doing out there? Did you almost hit me? Ah, uh, no, I was just 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 on my phone. That's all. I had an excuse. It's not that it wasn't. It's that I'm a bad driver, it's that I'm, oh, talking on my phone. Wait, I'm rolling. Ha, <laughs> what a jerk. <laughs> I'm that guy. All right, here we are. I'm just not prepared for people to stop like that. I've got the settings all the way lowest for my brakes to simulate the truck, which makes sense when I got a trailer, but I should stop a little quicker when I'm not pulling anything. Now I wasn't concerned about getting here to pick up this this load. Wow. Oh, before, but having to stop a few times, now I'm a little more concerned. So now this guy thinks I'm following him. Road region. All right. Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport. Flying out of here on a regular basis. Oops. University at 24th. Can make our turn. Make our stops as we're supposed to. I see no traffic coming out this way. Yeah, they've got a lot of the airplane cargo bins. 
store these right on the cargo planes? Oops, I'm sorry, I gotta turn right here. Magnolia Street. I pulled in once here. When I first came to Phoenix, I pulled in here to, to I think, sleep. I was looking around to try and find out where I needed to sleep. We were considering Phoenix as a destination. Coming from LA, from the Overdogs. Oops, what? That's, that's confusing. Not for me, it's confusing all the cars behind me. Alright, here we're whipping in here on two tires. Phoenix Freight and Transport. Let's take a look. Somebody walks up to the cab. We says, hey, we're here to pick up your... Eight minutes. I just made it with eight minutes to spare. <laughs> Frozen fruits to the sell goods. So I flew in some frozen fruits from Florida. Frozen fruits from Florida, and it needs it there by Wednesday, 3.45 a.m. $5,800. Take the job. Shibachimas. I don't know what we got for sleep. Oh, we're going to be okay, I believe. Oops. Thank. Shibachimas. Where is my container? Oh, here we are. Got a frozen foods container. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Ninety degrees out. We live in the desert. Turn that off, that infernal racket. Here we are at Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport in Phoenix. Beebles! Um, American flag. Locked up, we got our frozen fruits and the frozen fruit, frozen container from Florida, frozen fruits. Gonna run up the landing gear. Power our cables on. Step back inside. Some noise out there. Check the way bill. Way. Okay, they need it. Nine hours and 19 minutes. This is going to be easy drive up to Flagish Staffish. It's Tuesday, 6.02 p.m. Let's ride. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. We're rolling back towards the... you got to remember that to put your... Uh... That's the best way to get out of here. you got to try to ride out of here. Well, it's easy getting out of the... Uh... It's a huge terminal. So it's a nice place to pick up or deliver, I would imagine. Um, Phoenix Freight and Transport, the cargo cargo area at the airport. We fly out of town for the B-Wolves games. We go to the passenger port. I see this whole airport. Come on. Turn off there. Nice old Crown Lines aircraft there. There's a DC-3 they had in World War II. Oh. That's what you get when you don't look. So pretty soon, we're starting the season. Uh, Pete and I, the over, uh, no, the B Wolves, and we start off on the road. So we'll be flying out of here to Los Angeles. And um, it took it a little quick. That's why I was to play the Blowfish. The only time we play the Blowfish all season. Then we fly out of there to Colorado to play the Warblers. And we'll probably hunt while we're in Colorado. We'll probably farm while we're in LA. And then we come back and we're on a, a home stretch. We play, I think we got 11 home games in a row, or one of them is actually an away game. 
but it's against the Sandcats, who are the other Phoenix team. So technically we're away, but we're actually still in the building that we share. Um, so yeah, 11 straight games here in Phoenix, which will be nice. And then the second half of the season is where we're on the road a lot. So. That's the cross-pollination of the games. Um, yeah, I get some stutter when I'm facing the city because all the objects that are back there—oh, I can turn that. Off. All the objects back there are drawing in and and being, you know, loaded into memory, taken out of memory. Um, if I had a a more robust computer, you would see things fluid like this everywhere you went. But for some reason, when I'm heading west on that on that stretch of road, it's you're not going to globe or any of that stuff. Wow, it's tough to get up to speed going north on the ten at this this portion. Oh, my lights! Where's my lights at? Nope. Lights on. I think I've had my lights on all day. 24,000 pounds of frozen fruits behind me, I think. I brought fireworks up from Tucson. Yeah, this guy, you should be past me, buddy. I'm going in slow motion. So now I'm bringing frozen fruits up to Flagstaff. Frozen fruits from Florida up to Flagstaff. <laughs> it's not really a tongue twister, it's kind of a front lip twister. Wait, south. I don't want to go south. North flags, Dad. we got to stay on the tent a little further. Go through town. This whole broadcast thus far, I've been in Phoenix. Here's my turnout. Leaving the city one more time go to Flagstaff. I'm going to miss Flagstaff. Actually, I thought Flagstaff's a great place to have a hub. I, I really like that that town, and I really like that hub. Um, it's just things are going to be more convenient for me to be in Phoenix. So, so there you go. Pretty open road driving between Phoenix and, and, and Flagstaff at this time until um, until you get about halfway up near like Camp Verde, it begins to um, <coughs> get a little twisty. At which point I'm going to have to come out of the brake a bit. It's beautiful country. I'll spend one more night up in. Flagstaff. Sign the paperwork up there to get rid of all the stuff. Sell that place out. Transfer all the drivers. Get settled in my seat. 7.03 p.m. Order north out of out of Phoenix. Bapai County. Oh, I don't want. I don't want to get stuck there. Coming around a turn. Beautiful sunset. They've got what they call the cotton candy sunset out in Arizona. As the sun's coming down, the clouds looking like a pink. Arizona is a great state. Ooh. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Well done, SES. Um, yeah, they got Wyoming's going to be their next, their next one. 
I don't know when they're going to be done with it, though. They've been teasing it for a year. So it gets a little bit annoying, to be honest. Yeah, I love this, this desert drive between Phoenix and Camp Verde. It's pretty. I think basically after this next turn, you get to see some some whiny stuff, so I'm going to want to come off the, the gas somewhat. The only thing saving me is I'm coming uphill, so going back the other way, you're south, it's a bit rougher. I'm just not getting up to speed here. I'm only going 55 at the top of this ridge. So I'm not that concerned. I'm going to tap the brake, though, to come off of the... the uh, what's it called? Oh my gosh, see? Jeez. That, it's that kind of turn. Alright, we're not stopping at Camp Verde. So we're going to motor on past it. A little traffic we're bumping into. Heading towards Flagstaff here. Middle Verde. So we got a 65, I only got 55, but so is everybody else, right? Verde River. This flows by Zadar Shaluzau um, winery here. It's recovered in a life from the hive. Jokshindes. Off the Verde River. And I, I don't even I, you know I can hear her, but I know I know what she's saying in a sense because I know where I'm going. 76 degrees at 8 10 p.m. Going a little bit wide there. Nothing to worry about, nobody panic. This is kind of what I'm talking about. It's a little windy up here, north of Prescott. Oh, that's north of Camp Verde towards Flagstaff. Climbing in altitude the whole way. This guy's slowing down here. This is just a bear of a turn. Oops. 8 30 p.m. Alright. So we'll sell the place, be out effectively by Sunday. Have a, have a move in key exchange on Monday. Soon here, come into town. Guys nice driving for Gallon. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to think of what else to talk about. So, yeah, I want to do a few single player games before the season starts to sort of get some of those under the belt. So, I was going to do a little bit more driving. Um, There's a couple others too I want to try out. Maybe get a couple taken off of my drive that I know I'm not going to play. I think I mentioned that last time I was passing through the area. Still haven't done anything about it. Quite a trip coming up into Flagstaff here. Today. It's I think the, I believe the elevation of Flagstaff is higher than Denver. More than a mile high. It's like 6,000 some hundred feet. One of the single player games I want to do is my uh, PC repair shop. It's a PC building simulator. It's mid year now. I'm hoping to get a new machine by the end of the year. I hope. I don't know. Things change. Uh, but if I do, if they're available, I'll take a look at some build outs. Sort of virtually put them together. See if it's something I can do on my own. Right, that's our turn. 
です。右の出口です。So I wonder for selling the garage. I mean, I know I could just go on a menu and do it, but I wanted to do it, you know, like I was in the area. I wonder if I pull up to the garage, if it gives me the option to sell it there. I don't know. I've got about five minutes left, and then I have to be making pizza for my oldest. So you know, I bought last time I talked about buying the garage. I said I have to buy it on the next one, so I bought it. And I was talking about selling. I think I may have to sell on the next one because I gotta I gotta ramp it up here and call it quits. I'm just gonna drop this thing off, and on my next one, I'll sell the Flagstaff garage. Maybe I could do that tonight. Okay, here we go. I am hauling. It's gonna be easier to use this hill to slow me down. Right, here we go. Do a complete stop. Here we go. Oh, of course, there's a train coming. Put the windows down. Bump this guy into the train. Passenger train out of Albuquerque. I'll miss the station in Flagstaff. I mean, it's not like I'm never going to be at Flagstaff again. I'm going to be coming through here, I'm sure. I just want to stay. <laughs> Watch some of the playoff games. The, the finals from the Flagstaff office here. That we were not part of when we got knocked out. The Rays hamburgers. The Stadium Club. There we go. So I took my eyes off for a second. 9.51 p.m. Right. Dukes! Money to loan. I think that's a new sign. I haven't noticed Dukes before. I gotta take a left on Aspen here. Oh, buddy, really? You're gonna, you're gonna come out and around. Now I gotta come around you like this and not hit you. Oh, sorry, I should have my turn signal on so that Oh sweet, another wait, I like sell goods. Make sure to make it easy. Down the way. Here we are, sell goods to sell goods, basically in one day, uh, at night now. Here we are at the one in Flagstaff, Arizona. Don't forget Winona. Oops, I got it. There we go. Hundred eighty-five miles, four hours, thirty gallons of gas, uh, diesel, fifty-eight hundred dollars. Continue. Now, if I go to the world map. The garage, the garage is right there. So I will pull up there, and then I gotta go. Butchimas. There we 
we go. Pulling out of the sell goods and Flagstaff. Taking a left here. I can see all the traffic from here. This is kind of a good vantage point. Yeah, there's the. Oh, it's an international dealer. It used to be a Peterbilt. And then they. Uh, and it changed to an international. I know I'm driving like an old lady. Oh, I just missed a guy. Oh, hold on. Okay, the guy's turning. Oh, I thought he was turning. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm going to get an accident because I can't see. That's weird that it changed the camera angle on me. I thought it was going to go all the way around the block. Cherry, Cherry Avenue. Oh, he's got to stop, right? Let's see how far we can do this thing here. Somebody behind me. He's like... <laughs> see if we can do this whole thing. Uh-oh, 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 don't, don't hit me. Wait, where's the... Oh, okay, hold on. Oh, here's the garage. Manage this garage. Can I pull in here and sell it from here? We're gonna find out. Sell. It won't let me sell it? Oh, I have to move them first. Okay, I will do that in my next episode. Thank you for watching. Bye.